Okay guys, I just got permission from my customer to roll, so here we are. We are going to, this is a BMW that, he has his own hitch, but typically I'll use mine. Um, and that's just to kind of keep from having to go digging through their trunk and stuff. So um, usually I'll pull, pull mine out and use mine if it's visible. That's just like my preference. But sometimes mine's not the right one because there's two different cons. This is going to be the smaller one. Yep. It's going to be the smaller one, but I do have it too in the toolbox. I keep a few of them, but I don't know. Whenever uh, I started at this company that I work for, They, uh, they hooked me up with a couple, but anyways, yeah, you know what, I'm going to have to move this stuff. Yeah, if you got a knife, you'll pop that off open for me. Looks like he's about to help me. Alright, where are you at, so hit. from an accident that I need to dump. Got to get it dumped. All right. Thanks. Thank you, sir. So here's the two for BMW that I have. And I could almost tell just by looking. Oh, wow. So maybe it is going to be. Let's get yours. It's got a lot smaller. Right? Yeah, it does. So apparently there's more than two. Or maybe my other one will fit. But... To be honest, there it is too. Wow, I got lucky. Okay. I got one more I'm going to try. I think this one might be it. Oh, yeah. I knew it. Yes, sir. So I had it. Now on these, I don't put a lot of trust in these. So if these cars don't roll... I'm gonna go with the soft bridle and I'm gonna go up underneath the front on something solid, y'all. I typically don't, don't drag off of the pin. I typically don't drag anything. I'm always gonna try to put something. But like if it's like a winch out or something, or if the, even if I'm dragging on skates, I'll try not to put too much on those little bitty threads. Yeah, we haven't put any tension on the line yet. Here we go. Always keep that ready. I got you. All right, step back. Just in case something happens, you don't want to be anywhere near that cable, okay? So I'm going to be at this angle. Alright. What? A little bit off that brake because this brake is very strong. See it's already got some damage on that front bumper. It's like it's separated. There we go. Make sure we're gonna clear. Beautiful. The rest of this I can do by hand here. Just like that. Perfect. I'm gonna move my shovel, put it in the bin. 
because the last thing I really want to do is have this bad boy fly down and hit my car. All right. Right. Um, as soon as it gets up on the truck, I'm gonna pull that e-brake all the way up. That way we don't have to worry about nothing. There we go. That way we ain't gotta worry about nothing going flying off the truck. Punch it up just another couple inches. Right there. Tilt this down to where it's still at an angle, but not a whole bunch. Almost all the way up. That way we're not putting a bunch of back pressure on the frame or anything. Boom. Boom. Y'all, I'm not a perfect person on this one, I noticed. Because... Sometimes I still get nervous when people watch me. I noticed after loading about halfway that I was loading in park. But fortunately, I'm, I'm still learning things. But yeah, this is me being honest. We're lasting about three quarters of the way of loading. guys haven't already be sure to smash that like button and um, comment down below on uh, how you well you guys perform when people are watching thanks